Welcome back, everybody, to Hop on Art. Big Daddy Hop here. We're getting ready to head back to the island where I'm going to try something with a trap. And I'm not sure if it's going to work or not, but we're going to have a little bit of fun trying. So head back with me to the island. I'm glad you're here. See you in a bit. Woo! Welcome back. Here we are. We are on the island again. And as you can see, I've still got my otter. We're still looking for a name. Start of the next episode, we will reveal... The chosen name so drop your uh in your comments drop your suggested name for this little booger he's so cute look at him oh, oh, oh yeah anyway so we're gonna try and do some things uh first of all i just want to thank everybody this has been awesome um i i can't even begin to express how excited i am at the fact that i've actually hit 90 subscribers as of the making of this video so i'm pretty excited about that it may not sound like much to a lot of YouTubers, but um, considering I, I rebooted this channel after nearly 10 months without really putting much out, and uh, had only 29 to start with, and here we are at 90, so uh, thanks everybody for coming along, and thanks for all the support, and um, just you know keep sharing the channel and stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Let's get started with what we're going to be doing today. What I want to do is, I love the looks of this sucker. Look at this guy. He's so cool. Problem is, he's only a level 30. As much as I love the looks of him, he just didn't fit where I wanted to be. All right, now what do I have in my inventory right now? Uh, okay, that's not going to do me any good right now. And that's okay. And that's okay. Let's come over here. We're going to get some... Uh, Get some of this over here. We're gonna put this stuff all away for now. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about the hide right now. Put that down there. We're gonna put this in here because I don't want to lose it. Very, very important stuff. I'm gonna exchange this out because I don't think it. I want to have to repair one. And I probably ought to repair my crossbow before I do anything else. So the first thing I do is I put my crossbow in here. Oh, what do I need? What am I short? Metal. Well, we know where we got metal at. Come on. Let's get that metal out. Yeah. All right, now we can repair. Sounds good. All right, now we got a full thing there. Uh, have I learned the baryonic saddle? No, but I have it now. Have to make it at the smithy, right? Or do I get to make it on my own? We're about to find out. No, no. I think it's done inside here. I believe. Very honest saddle. So we're going to go ahead and make that. Uh, the reason I want to make it is, quite frankly, I know we're going to need it if we tame one. And if we tame that one that's over there, I want to be able to ride it back. I know that sounds weird, but that's the way it's going to happen. Now, we got to make a trap. I'm going to try and make a simple trap. Um, I'm honestly not sure if it's going to work well or not, but we are going to try it. And... Um, it's a trap that I've used, and, and it's nothing special. Really is nothing special. Um, but it hopefully will keep us able to trap him in. Okay, so the first thing you do is I'm going to make two foundations and two ramps. Okay, now that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to need 12 door frames, and I can make 13. So see, that all worked out really well. Always a good thing. Now, uh, I got levels, and movement speed, and really, I got another one? Sweet. Crafty. Why not? Okay. Oh. 
I just feel the need about killing a trilobite. Why not? Okay. Well, I guess I took care of that. Now, we're going to take this and we're going to take our pteranodon. We're going to fly over there. We're going to set up the trap and hopefully we're going to be able to find him. And uh, I'll try to explain the trap a little bit. But essentially, it's a, it's a very basic and, and easy uh, thing. Um, so, you know, that's... Just kind of goes without saying. I'm gonna drop some wood. Let's just put everything else we don't really care about. Drop all that, and uh, I'm gonna put the excess of that in there. And let's go ahead and put these in the in here. As you can see, we got a ton of stuff making up, and it's just gonna keep going until. Whenever I don't weigh that much. I only weigh 204 pounds um, That that worries me a little bit um, But How much weight can you take on that's gonna be close That is gonna be very close Hmm I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it over here in uh, moss chops. I'm taking this meat, and there's a reason. Uh, this happens to be the best way to tame is to use fish meat, a baryonyx. So hopefully that works. Okay, we should be fine. Mm, we're not gonna be able to fly very fast, I don't think. Okay, so I still can't fly fast, and I gotta figure out a way to cut a little bit of weight. So I think I'm going to, um, I think I'm gonna leave my sword. That's another five pounds. And my medjos, which was 50 pounds. You kidding me? It was. Okay. We should be fine now, big guy. Oh yeah, 70 pounds of room. Let's fly. Okay, now I don't remember exactly where he was at, but I know he was over on this side. Um, hopefully we don't look at all this beautiful stuff over here. Now the easiest way to look for him is to turn that awesome spyglass on. He may not be in this area anymore. I don't know. Hopefully we find him. Oh yeah, level 18 terrain it on. Man, it's gonna be sad if we can't find him. Looking, looking. There is a drop up there. We can get that drop real quick. Why not? See, I can't see what's in it anymore because I turned that off. It's not a bad thing. And a Fiomia saddle. I really don't care. If I owe me a saddle, not really a necessary thing. Don't really care about that. Where are you, Baryonyx, dude? I'm trying to remember what group of rocks he was around. I know it was over here somewhere. Dilo, that's not gonna make any difference. Oh wait a second. Nope, saber two salmon. That's that's a Fiomi over there. 
Hmm. Don't see him. Don't know where you're at. Where'd he go to? I thought there was going to be some ticked off dialos over here. Yep, they're... What's that? Oh, they're both, are they both 30s? Yeah. Yeah, I don't care. You got lucky. You got lucky. I'm gonna add to the stamina because I can. Really, another one? Okay, well, hmm. Where is he at? Is it possible he's in the water somewhere? Hmm. Did he move down the beach? Would not surprise me if he moved down the beach some. They are creatures that are more aligned in uh, in the swamp, as you can see that swamp area way out there. But I don't see him. I was really hoping we'd be able to to come up on that and find him. Beaver dams. Don't need the beaver dams. But there's a heparonis. Haha, more organic polymer. I just honestly cannot believe he disappeared on me. A few moments later. Nope, there he is. Okay, so we need to move this stuff down and get get building. Okay, and we're gonna try and do it pretty quick. Because we got to do it a certain way. Okay. All right, now. Now, I'm honestly not sure how high I should build this. Um, Barry Onyxes, they are pretty, uh, pretty great in a lot of ways and um, I want to be able to pull him in okay now we need to come over here uh, let's see you're gonna be passive because I don't want you screwing it up Can I get him? Got him. Come on. Oh crap, he missed. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Come on, dude. Trying not to die.
Oh no. Oh no. He's going after him. Okay, this has got to work now. He's running. Come here, you scallywag. Where you at? He ran and hid. Don't go in the water. Okay, I don't know. Oh, that's great. He's underwater animal, so that means he'll be fine. Yes! Oh, my goodness. Woo! Oh, my goodness. That was frightening. I got to get some berries and eat some berries. Get my health racing up. You hear that heartbeat in the background. You know you're in trouble. <laughs> okay. Female Baryonyx. Boy, I'm glad that worked. Woo, nearly died. And I did have to sacrifice. I did have to sacrifice my Tyranodon. And it wasn't on purpose either. He just became a target. So I'm really sorry, Terry. I really, really am. I love a Baryonyx, though. I don't like seeing that shark down there. We're almost there. Almost there. It's gonna be an exciting time. He's snoring underwater. That's like the craziest thing I've ever heard. He's snoring underwater. Or she is. I'm sorry. She is. Oh, I have to wait for a whole nother cycle on the food. There it is. There it is. I'm not going to name her underwater. Because I've got a saddle. All right, a baryonyx. We now have a baryonyx. That's right. Woo. I love it. Love it. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's a beautiful animal.
Oh, come on. You know you love it. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's take it around for a spin, shall we? Yes, it's fast on Earth, as you can see. On land, it's very fast. But... Is that fish? Yeah, it is. Okay, before we go into the water, let's uh, see where we can up. Melee damage. Why not? Okay. Now, you saw how fast that she runs. I'll name her by the end of the episode, I promise. But she runs... Thank you. She runs fast, but then you put her in the water. Watch this. And then there's an attack. A spin attack that's absolutely wonderful. See, it kills everything. So I love the Baryonyx. The Baryonyx is also a really good animal for certain caves, which we'll get to much later. Baryonyx also is a little bit safer to go into the swamp with because that's its natural habitat. Wow. Didn't even, didn't even kill it first. It just ate it. Gotta love a Baryonyx. She's awesome. Ooh, hello. What was that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is how you take care of piranhas. Love that. Love it. So this is this is a really good deal here. Love having this. Sorry, Dodo. It had to be done. Well, I guess we're gonna have to find another pteranodon. That's the one thing this cost me. I mean, is it possible to find a replacement like today? I don't know. Let me go over here. Look how fast she moves. Love it. Look at that. That's a 42. No, thank you. Uh, let's see. Let's get on top of Weathertop. Maybe there'll be another one up here. Hello. 48. No. You just kind of popped up out of nowhere, didn't you? That's an Iguanodon. Very fast animal. Turtle, not so fast animal. Dilo, idiotic animal. Poop. <laughs> not a lot of stuff. Are you still chasing me, guys? I hear that music. Hear that music in the background? It's like it's telling me, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. And yet... Nothing. See what's back here. I ain't been back here in a little while. Comes out on the back side back here. I'm not as worried about coming back here with this Baryonyx. She is going to be a beast. We know where that is. That's on the other side. There's a Sarko down there. I'm I may try to actually tame a Sarko. Never, never done that before. No Pteranodon jet. Big Brontosaurus. Only a 24 though. You're not as big as Gigantor. I'm sorry to tell you that, but you ain't as big as Gigantor. I just don't see a lot of... Uh, Oh, there's a flyer. That's a 102 Pteranodon. That's not quite as good as what we had, but... Might be worth looking at just to see. Oh, there's a Spino over there. I ain't ready for fighting a Spino. Not ready for a Spino. Neither one of them. I don't see anything. No more flyers. Hmm. No real pteranodon, so I don't know. 
I love this Mariana. She just is all over the place. Yes, I hear you, little Dodo. Sorry, I'm not interested right now. There's just nothing. See, I could go over there. There's there's an itchy and stuff over there. But you can't you can't really ride on those. I mean, I don't know. Just don't see any uh, any flyers. There was that one on one, but that spino was right over there. So as soon as you knock it out of the water, it's going knock it down to, out of the water. It's going to end up. I don't know. I guess I could go ahead and tame that multicolored one. I don't know. And somewhere out there is Lucifer. Haven't seen Lucy in a while. I'm sure, you know, he's somewhere causing, you know, mayhem. Sure he's out there causing mayhem somewhere. I don't know. I mean, I guess if that level 30 comes back here, I'll just tame it because of the colors. Because I'm going to have to have a flyer if I'm ever going to have a chance of getting an RG. But I guess this will do for now. Not a bad, uh, not a bad day, really, when you think about it. Gotta love it. Yeah, look at that face. Oh, my. Yes, it's a face that only a father could love. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. That's right. You just let them know what's going on right now. Well, I guess uh, all I have to do now is name it. What should I name it? It's a female. Let's come up with a really good name. Uh, let's see. Options. Change name. We are going to name this one... Bertha! Bertha the Baryonyx. Yeah, you'll just have to deal with the name. Okay, so we can now take you up. I'm taking this off of you, and... I'm, I think I'm going to take all three of these things. Alright. There you go. You just eat to your heart's content. Okay, so let's put this stuff in here. Do I need to cook more meat? I probably ought to cook some meat. So let's put this stack in there. And then we'll, uh, yeah, looks good. Polly, let's put the poly away. That way it's not on me. I'm going to put this in here too. Because unfortunately that's just the way life goes in the big city. All right. Well. What more could I ask for, ladies and gentlemen? We added another... <laughs> Moss Chops is stuck. <laughs> Moss Chops is stuck. Oh, man. I wonder how long I can leave him stuck there. How long he'll keep treading, trying to get free with Bertha's big legs in front of his face. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Come on, Bertha. Drop a load on his head. I'm honestly, that's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for Bertha to take <laughs> the flex on this poor moss chop that's stuck there. <laughs> hey, listen, if you've enjoyed this video, I'm glad you came around. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up to give me a like uh, on the video. The more likes, the better the algorithm, and more YouTube likes it and puts my video out there more. So. Do me a favor and like it, share it around on social media, and uh, if you're new to the channel, if you're new to the channel, I invite you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you will know when we drop a video. I try to drop one about every three days, um, every third day or so, uh, just to kind of keep it regular. So uh, yeah, stick around, and uh, we'll see you the next time. I'm really, come on, you're not going to drop a deuce? Really, Bertha? Are you too ladylike to do it? 
you one shot kill everything that I can go after and eat it all in one gulp, but yet you're you're too ladylike for me to, to give me my fun little punchline at the end of this. Thank you very much. I haven't I don't get to see it. Oh well. Thanks for joining us, everybody. This is Big Daddy Hop saying goodbye from the island. We'll see you next time.